The most important thing I was looking for in coming here was just an improvement. And I definitely received that and so much more. Nothing short of a miracle, really. My name is Jen. I am from New York in the United States. I work as a financial analyst. I was diagnosed with severe juvenile rheumatoid arthritis when I was 16. I had a very unusual and rare onset, um, non-hereditary. It was triggered by um, too many vaccines administered within a short period of time, along with traumatic stress. Yeah, I'm 40 now. <laughs> So it's been a long journey with a condition that was just um, very hard to manage and just tried really so many of the drugs for rheumatoid arthritis that were available at the time and did not respond to them. You know, things that I enjoyed doing, I was very athletic, I competed in martial arts, um, I love to travel, I love being outside, and eventually, you know, you can't do that anymore. You kind of have to accept and find ways to deal with it. I really was experiencing a severe decline in my health. I would have a tremendous amount of inflammation and swelling, in particular in my hands or my feet or my knees, um, where it was just, you know, incredibly uncomfortable to walk or get dressed, let alone like try to make a meal or shower. And there were points where my RA was so bad, like I couldn't even lift my arm. I kind of had to like use the other <laughs> hand to prop it up, um, fluid retention, so I would have to get my knees drained pretty regularly and cortisone shots, lots of fluid taken out of my knees or my hands and in my wrists. You know, I couldn't work, uh, not being able to stand or use my hands. Um, and then also during that flare up, um, it was a condition that I had been struggling with on and off throughout the years was ocular migraines and um, cornea ulcers. And I had an ulcer in my left eye that had progressed very rapidly. And that's a really hard thing to process um, that like any minute I could lose my vision and uh, Having rheumatoid arthritis, you're not eligible for cornea transplants or really any transplant because you have over an 80% rejection rate. I found out about the stem cell clinic here uh, just through researching stem cell and then also uh, researching, trying to find basically other case studies on patients like me. And the stem cell clinic here in Panama had published a case study on a similar patient. Um, and it just gave me a tremendous amount of hope that it just made me feel less alone and also very confident in what my gut had been telling me that there was a better option um, for treatment through stem cells. For me, being here after I had two rounds of IV treatment the third day, I woke up and I went downstairs to have breakfast, which was amazing. <laughs> um, but for the first time in months, I was able to actually read out of my left eye. I had been dealing with severe pain. That was really like worth it uh, just to save my vision and to experience that before I even left. And I, my vision was finally back to 2020 and that was within less than a week of finishing stem cell treatment. So that in and of itself was just incredible. Prior to coming for stem cell treatment, my rheumatoid factor was off the charts. So I had been living for almost 20 years in the 2000 range of a rheumatoid factor, which is kind of like a death sentence. So um, immediately after stem cell treatment, three months after I had a full rheumatoid panel and my numbers were down to 1200. So I had a severe drop, which was just incredible. Also, 
Another big symptom that I had struggled with since the onset of my disease was severe insomnia. So I'd never really slept more than two hours. And after my first round of treatment, I was so tired and I slept for seven hours straight. And I was just like, I woke up crying because <laughs> I just had never slept that long. I have not lost any of those gains or improvements since coming. My RA numbers keep decreasing uh, since I came for treatment in June of 2019. Um, yeah, sleep's still great. My eyes are stable. Um, my RA numbers keep going down slowly but surely. Uh, and it also allowed me to have quite a few joint replacement surgeries, so I wasn't healthy enough to have them before. Yeah, to anybody out there who's considering stem cell treatment, especially if you have rheumatoid arthritis, my advice would be don't wait. I would pursue this treatment above anything else. Rheumatoid arthritis is such a degenerative and severe disease and it's unpredictable. As someone who's tried it all and researched it all, um, you know, I wish I had come here earlier. <laughs> uh, you know, I think, you know, just to be able to have a better quality of life, um, again, like, you can't put a price on that, so do it. <laughs> You'll thank yourself. <laughs>